Hello, welcome to the self-knowledge course. Today we will start with the cycle of lectures of the phase B of this course. And these are 25 lectures which we will see every week at the same time. And in these lectures we are going to delve into the topics of inner knowledge. Um, actually, these um, Phase B lectures are aimed at people who have already seen the Phase A lecture series because they will have a better understanding of these Phase B topics. Um, in these first three lectures, the first three lectures of the Phase B, we are going to touch again three topics that we saw in Phase A, but that is of the utmost importance that we have them clear and understood in order to begin to see results in our inner work and that we can begin to corroborate all this information. Um, today we will talk about concentration and relaxation and um, this is a fundamental topic since concentration is what will allow us to be successful in our practices. And next week, we will talk about the practice of reflective meditation. We will be doing a practice of reflective meditation. And the following week, we will talk about the practice of astral projection. And later on, the following topics will uh, we'll deal with new aspects related to the initiation path that will lead us to self-realization and we will touch on uh, important topics to understand uh, as well as um, to have the understanding of certain symbolism that have been veiled or that have been uh, misrepresented over time and, uh, and that because of course of the um, involutionary process that is leaving this race and well we are going actually to be talking in this phase B lectures of very important uh, topics and well today we are going to be talking about uh, concentration and relaxation and um, let's start this lecture by talking about what is um, concentration um, the very word concentration is showing us that consciousness is centered, that is focused on the action. In any action that we are carrying out, we are concentrated when we are like fully focused on that action. Concentration actually is a very great power that will allow us to be successful in everything that we undertake. And we need to understand that concentration, of course, when we learn to live in the present moment, in the eternal now, as consciousness can only manifest in the here and now. When we are distracted, we are mentally and emotionally somewhere else or someone else. So we manage to be concentrated when we are fully present in a self-awareness state and our mental, emotional, instinctive, motor and sexual energies are all of them working towards the same purpose. Our different functions, as you can see here, are working in unison, having our heart as the center. And um, we are concentrated when only one thought is uh, sustained when we uh, sustain full attention on that we are doing we can achieve inspiration that we receive from this uh, center and an instant later we will achieve success and uh, you will see that the key to success in any practice is concentration that is why we must practice and uh, fight until we achieve concentration. For this, we must understand that concentration is something that we must exercise throughout the day. We cannot be wandering all the day, mentally and emotionally, and then at night, for example, uh, pretend that we are going to achieve concentration while uh, trying to achieve or while making the astral projection practice. But if we are 
focused during the day, if we are practicing to be concentrated the whole day, we will continue to be focused at night. And if in, uh, in during the day we wander in the night too. So it is very important that we learn and we exercise to do everything we do in the day in a concentrated way. And that way we are going to like uh, exercise that um, concentration ability so when we are there trying to do our practices be it meditation uh, or astral projection or sexual transmutation uh, watching the prey etc we are going to be able to um, have that concentrated uh, state um, and we must know that there are two types of concentration one in the inner world and the other in the outer world and both are very important so we must always say in that state of inner concentration, in constant self-remembering. And for this, it is very useful to keep filling our heart. And every time we are performing an action, whether it is a practice that requires us to internalize ourselves, we will easily stay focused or when performing a practice that requires concentration towards some uh, external activity to us, then we will stay focused without losing that state of self-remembering here in the heart. We hold that single thought in our hearts related to the action that we are doing. And uh, what is important for us to understand is that concentration is the opposite of distraction and concentration is from consciousness and distraction is from the psychological selves the ego and uh, if we study distraction uh, we will end up in concentration if we can discover all the selves or distracting elements that are taking us from the present moment and we eliminate them we will achieve concentration learning to center the consciousness in the action requires a lot of practice since the sense of psychological self-observation that will allow us to discover all these distracting elements is currently atrophied in the almost all human beings but with the constant practice by exercising the ability of self-observation we will regenerate this sense as through this sense, the consciousness is centered in the action and we are going to uh, see the results in this. Um, Master Jesus taught, <laughs> taught us that we should watch and pray. And watching is doing things awake, vigilant, in self-observation that is concentrated. And praying is the desire to be or that self-remembering. And this is the same as relaxing. That is, uh, uh, praying is to supplicate to our Divine Mother to eliminate the defect that doesn't allow us to concentrate. Um, now, how can we practice concentration? Well, we need to keep ourselves in a constant self-awareness state, in self-observation, in self-remembering, centered in our hearts and we are going to make an effort to do thing by thing staying focused on everything we are doing and doing one thing at a time without thinking about anything else when we are doing this without interrupting one thing to do another you know try our best to do one thing at a time because when we are doing one thing and we um leave it and do this and then return and then the other thing, we cannot focus on what we are doing. Uh, also, not thinking about things that we are going to do or that we have to do later um, because that will take us out from the present moment to wonder, worrying of, or, or yearning for the future. And we are going to uh, aware, not remembering things that have already been done because that way we're going to be not here in the present moment but in the past and we are going to try to stay focused on what we do 
And so with everything that we are going to do during the day. And something that is very helpful for us uh, to do the different activities of our daily life in a concentrated way is to take a few minutes every day to make a schedule of activities. There with the different activities that we have to do during the day and the order or the schedule in which we will do them. And this will help us not to be planning uh, or thinking about what we'll have to do later, but we can focus on each action at each time. So that is uh, very important to, yes, to take this into account. And if we carefully observe all the activities of our daily lives, we will realize that each one of them is done mechanically. Since when we are doing them, we are all the time thinking about all the things. And that same fact prevents us from being centered. It also prevents us from seeing all the psychological defects that manifest in us at every moment. So we wake up, we get up, we walk to the bathroom, we undress, we shower, we dry, we dress, we put on shoes, we make the bed, we eat our, our breakfast, we brush our teeth, we say goodbye, we go out, etc. But we don't observe ourselves, which means that our consciousness is asleep due to lack of use. We do all those things with our consciousness asleep. And because of that, there is no self-discovery. If we begin to self-observe ourselves at every moment, since the very moment we wake up with that, in that self-remembering state, we will discover each one of the uh, psychological defects that participate in each action, that act mechanically, making mistakes, stressing us, causing us uh, worries, uh, distracting us, and preventing concentration. When we begin to observe all this, we realize directly that chaos in which we find ourselves and that we can only order it uh, through permanent relaxation. Now, what is relaxation? Relaxation is no tension and that is the natural state of our consciousness. On the contrary, tensions belong to the ego. We are tense when some psychological defect has taken over the human machine. Um, and actually, the interesting thing is that we will be able to discover that we spend most of the day with different tensions throughout the body. And in that state, the psychological defects are taking away all our energy, leading us to end the day completely exhausted. And what produces tension? Mm, desires, and we know that each desire is a self wanting to manifest. Uh, we um, also, negative emotions produces a lot of tension, worry, anxiety, fear, etc. Uh, the psychological songs creates a lot of tension, the resentments, uh, all our thoughts because the constant thinking and thinking generates a lot of tension and the worries, the internal chats, you know, the fight between the different selves when we are, in, I don't know, the indecision, the doubt, the internal debates, those are things that generate a lot of tension. And when we become aware of any defect that is producing tension in any part of the machine, be it anger, impatience, I don't know, anxiety, or um, laziness, or whatever, <laughs> we must necessarily relax so as not to exhaust energy unnecessarily. Uh, but how are we going to relax? Well, once we discover through self-observation the defect that is causing the tension and we understand that it is just draining our energy unnecessarily, we will plea to our Divine Mother like this. My mother eliminates this defect. 
that simple. If we beg our particular Divine Mother, which is the power of love of our consciousness, in those moments to uh, eliminate the defect that is producing the tension in this or, or that center, be it in the emotion or in the intellect or in the sexual center or in the motor center in any part of our body or in our instinctive center, we, if we ask for death, for that defect that is causing the tension there in that center, we will notice that she acts immediately, relaxing the place where we have observed the defect. But it is necessary to understand why we are tense for the mother to act. And stresses occur for many reasons. Because we are doing something that we don't like, for example, or because we are afraid that something that we are doing will be wrong, or if we want to do something uh, that we like more than what we are doing, or uh, if what we are doing, or, or if, if what we're going to do later worries us also, or if what we did before didn't work out, or if what we did before was very good, that can stress us out also, or uh, we don't know what to do, what we are doing, or uh, if we are worried about something that we will have to do later, or when we are distracted by something. So when we discover what is the defect that has us tense and stressed, and where it is operating in our human machine, we immediately ask the mother to eliminate it. And how do we know that we are already relaxed? It happens when all tension has disappeared and our psychology has normalized and we feel good and we can focus on what we are doing. Um, now, there are some guidelines for us to do a relaxation process that comes in handy when we are going to do any practice since it allows us to put uh, both the physical, emotional and mental parts in harmony for the practices. So um, that is very good for you to, to learn it. Um, in the relaxation of the physical body, we just concentrate on each of the parts of the body we, know, we need to know that where our thoughts are, our consciousness will be. Therefore, we must imagine and feel each one of the body parts in order. We can also imagine a light that is like feeling every part of the body. And we can repeat this procedure three times. You can start with the right leg, um, imagining that part and feeling that part and relaxing that part. You know, but toe by toe, later the sole, the instep, the heel, the ankle, the calf, the knee, you can, the thigh, uh, the entire leg. And then with the left leg, toe by toe, you know, the sole, the instep, the knee, the heel, the ankle, the calf, knee, thigh, the entire leg. There, uh, then you start with uh, your right arm, finger by finger. Later, the palm, the back, the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, uh, the whole arm. The same with the uh, left arm, part by part. You can imagine like a light is filling all that part and it's relaxing the whole uh, arm. And later, the buttocks, the genitals, the hips, the abdomen, the waist, um, the chest, the shoulders, the back. All the trunk, you imagine how it is filled with this um, light, yeah, and it is, and you are going to relax it. Then the neck, the throat, the jaw, the tongue, the lips, the cheeks, uh, the nose, the eyes, um, the eyebrows, the forehead, you relax all that part, the ears, the skull, the whole head. And then we order all the muscle um all the muscles or the nerves and all the tendons to relax to be still and to calm down that way and you can repeat this three times until you feel that your whole body is completely relaxed 
and then you uh, relax your astral body or emotional parts and you can do that uh, concentrating on your uh, breathing observing the entrance and the exit of the air for around I don't know one to two minutes you inhale you hold a little and you exhale and that way you're going to be relaxing your emotional part or astral body and for the relaxation of the mental body or intellectual part what we do is that you concentrate on your heart and you listen uh, to all the noises from uh, the outside world for around two minutes you just try to listen all the noises and you're going to see how your intellectual part just quiet just quiet and uh, silence and as I was saying that that is uh, very good that we do this when we are going to do any practice and um, there is a practice that is very good to keep in mind and dedicate time to it every day because it helps us a lot to develop the ability to stay concentrated and this practice is called watch and pray and uh, what the steps to do this practice which is very simple is first if we can to do the conjuration of the belly line and the magic circle that we learned in the phase A then making a plea for assistance to our Divine Father and our Divine Mother um, and then relaxing our whole, our, sorry, our whole body observing that it is completely comfortable and we just concentrate on the heart to listen and observe the inner world and we beg the Divine Mother to disintegrate each little detail that we observe that comes to distract us that is uh, coming to take us out of that self-aware state be it I don't know we thought uh, in emotion if we yeah, start feeling like anxiety we are we ask our Divine Mother to eliminate that anxiety we return to our heart uh, that I'm feeling that I'm thinking oh yeah I, I remember that I have to text somebody Divine Mother eliminate this uh, defect and we immediately return to concentrating on the heart and this practice can be done until perfect concentration is achieved and well that is the practice and this has been today's topic I hope I hope you find it uh, very useful and um, I will invite you to the second topic of the phase B in which we will do a guided practice of reflective meditation so that we have very clear step-by-step -step, um, approach to this important, uh, important practice for self-knowledge. So that this has been all for today. Thank you very much to everyone who watches the video and any question you have uh, we are going to be answering it in uh, there in the video chat and uh, well thank you very much and see you next time ciao ciao